Okay, the next thing we need to do here is to draw the connection plates that will be at the ends of these beams and the holings for the bolts. So let's just quickly look at those in the finished drawing. Okay, you can see the line here is the connection plate and then the hole positions and over here we're looking at the side view of the connection plate. Okay, if you look at those on the 3D view, this is the plate and the hole positions. So getting the holes spaced evenly is the trick here, and uh, I'll show you how you do that using the divide command. Okay, let's draw the plates in first. So we'll change layer, make the current layer connection plate. Okay, we'll do this one first. Okay, we want a line coming out from the middle of the flange and just an arbitrary distance is okay press return to stop return to bring back the command and then align from the middle sorry this is the flange from the middle of the flange right the way down okay return to stop okay the, uh, the plate on this beam is going to be 250 by 575 okay the 250 is in this direction that's an easy one so the offset will be 125 each way so we offset 125 return take the green line to the left go back to the middle pick it and go right okay next need to divide 575 by 2 now, if you don't have a calculator around, or if your mental arithmetic's not that great, you can press escape, and there's a calculator built into AutoCAD. So if you just type in cal and return, and then it would be 575 forward slash 2 and enter. And then it gives you your answer, which you can use in the next part of the command. Okay, so we're offsetting again, so we're offset by 287.5, return, take the horizontal green line upwards, go back to the original one, pick it, and go downwards. Press escape. Okay, now don't delete this line because we can use it later on. If we change it onto the setout layer, we can use it again. So click this middle line and change it onto the set out layer. Okay, if I zoom in on that, you should see it showing as a broken line. Okay, press escape. You can lengthen that a wee bit if you wish. Just click on it once, click on the grip, and drag it up a wee bit above the green line. Then press escape to stop. Okay, this line won't be used again, so that can be deleted. Now all we need to do is join these green lines together. So we'd be filleting, but with a radius of zero. So change the radius to zero. Return, and then we're forming corners. So you pick two lines to define the corner. Return, pick, pick return, pick, pick, return, pick, pick. Right, now while we're uh, just drawing the plates, let's do the plate on this one and then we'll come back and do the holdings on both of them. So we started off with a line and we took one vertically right the way down through both flanges and return. Return again to bring back the command and you want to take one out from the midpoint of the web out the way and return okay the size of this one the plate is 200 by 350 so we'll offset by 100 millimeters first return take the vertical line to the left go back to the middle take it to the right 
return twice to change the offset distance. Okay, 350 mil divided by 2 is 175. Return. Take this line up, go back to the original, pick it, and go down. Press escape. Okay, we won't be needing this one as a center line, so just delete that one. And we won't need this line either, so delete that. Now you can fill it to form the corners. Pick, pick, return, pick, pick, return, pick, pick, return, and finally pick, pick. Okay, so we've got our solid plate. We now need to put some holes in it in a controlled position. Okay, so we'll change layer now to holings. And we'll do the bigger one first. Okay, now we're going to be using the divide command here. And this will leave small markers in division positions. And at the moment, we probably can't see those markers. The, the software isn't set to display them. So you need to use a couple of commands here. Okay, the first one is PD mode. All one word, PD MODE, and return. And we set that to 66. Okay, and what that means is when there's a when there's a node visible, it will have a cross through it, but also a small square around it. Different numbers give you different shapes of node. So there's uh, 63, 66, 69. Uh, 93, 96, 99, they're, they're kind of variations on those numbers. Okay, now the accompanying command is PD size, and this determines how big the markers are. So PD size return, and if you put in 10, then the node markers will be 10 millimeters in size. Okay, we haven't got any yet, so you can't see any. So let's zoom to the top of the, the uh, plate here. And what I want to do is divide the plate into four chunks. Okay, it won't break the line, it will just give me markers at the quarter positions. So the command is div, short for divide. Pick the line, it then says enter the number of segments you want. We want four and return. Okay. So this is a, a called a node point, and the 66 that we put in for the PD mode has generated a square and a cross through the node point. So draw a line down from here and just drag it through. Take it all the way through if you wish. You can. You don't need to do the same on the other side because we're just going to mirror the, these over. Okay. Now these nodes have actually done their job. You can click on the corner of them and delete them. We won't need those again. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll place the uh, the first holing down the way will be, we'll do it uh, 100 millimeters down from the top. Okay, so if we offset, sorry, offset by 100 millimeters, pick the line, take it down. So this is where the first hole is going to be located. Okay, I'll just check my drawing because I think that's where we said it should be. I haven't actually identified it. Maybe not as far down actually. Let's maybe just go down 80 millimeters. I think. Okay, so let's undo to get rid of that line and we'll offset just by 80 millimeters. That'll take it far enough down. That looks a bit better. Okay, and bring a line up from the bottom the same distance. Okay, now I could do the maths here and take 80 from that and 80 from there and then divide that by uh, 4 to give me the, the correct spacings, but I just use the divide command. So. It's, it's much easier, let the computer deal with the accuracy. Okay, but we do need a line to help us with the positioning. Okay, so press escape to stop offset. Get a line command and 
draw a line from this point up to this one then press return okay now use the divide command div return pick the new line and divide it by 4 okay all right so we'll draw our first hole in here and then we'll copy it down using these points to help us move it into position so if we zoom in closer up here and we'll use a circle here centered on this intersection and the size for the holing we want to be able to fit an 18 millimeter bolt through there so let's make the uh, the, the size of the, the radius 9.5 so we end up with a 19 millimeter hole so 9.5 would be the radius okay and we want to end up with like a target mark here so we want kind of a crosshairs going through it so let's offset the hole out the way by 10 millimeters so offset by 10 and return pick the circle take it outwards now press escape to stop the offset and go for trim okay pick the outer circle and return and then chop off these four bits of line press escape to stop delete the outer circle and change this little bit of green line onto the holing layer so you click the green line and change that to the holdings layer and escape okay so that's our first hole in position what we can do now is copy it using these reference points we'll end up with five holdings so we want to copy these three items press enter because you don't want to copy anything else the base point is the top of this line and your destination point is node node or midpoint node endpoint press return to stop delete this line delete this line and delete the three nodes okay we then just need to flip these five over to the other side of the beam and that one's finished so we'd use the mirror command for that use a blue selection window so you go from left to right okay should have 15 items that's correct press return the base point for the mirror is the end point here, midpoint there, or midpoint there? Click, drag, select the top end of this line, or just drag past it and let ortho do the work. Click in the black space and return. Okay, we'll now try the holdings on this one. We need to set things up first. So, what we did was divide the top line by 4 so div return pick this line divide by 4 and return draw a line down from this node and we'll take it all the way through it can carry on down we did this holing 80 millimeters from the top so if we offset by 80, return, take that line down, take this line up. Okay, and this one's going to be a bit easier. We only need three holdings, so we don't need to do the divide command here. All you need is another line from the midpoint and make sure it crosses the red line there. Okay, so we've 
generated our three positions for our next holdings so we can copy just one of them return the base point for the copy is the center of the circle or the intersection of those crosshairs and the destination point is intersection 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 return to finish and delete all these helping lines and these three nodes can be deleted as well and then we'll mirror these onto the other side so it's mirror select using a blue window and return the base point can be the middle of the plate at the bottom drag upwards Ortho's doing the job here select in the black space and return so that's probably the one of the trickiest parts of the of the drawing done we've established all the holding positions so I think we'll break the uh, break the tutorial at that point